Hey folks, welcome back. 828 Find Adventure here. Let's install this trifold bed cover on this truck right here. Let's go do it. Okay folks, after I put the bed rug in the bed of my truck, I needed something to cover it. So I purchased the trifold bed cover by Tiger Auto. It is the T3 soft trifold truck bed cover compatible with my truck. It does not fit in my particular truck all editions, so you need to be very specific when you order this. The cover is a dual coated and made out of heavy duty 24 ounce marine grade vinyl. It also comes with an aluminum frame that looks to be powder coated and it is black. It comes with stainless steel clamps for easy installation and great durability. Mine has stainless steel hardware with plastic levers and aluminum hardware that went on to the deck rails in my bed. Everything is pre-assembled and they offer support if you need it. It's a no drill installation and it has, it's very self-explanatory, but it is a no drill installation. Now, this bed cover, it comes in a full-size box, it's pre-assembled, and it comes in a bag, this really nice bag to keep it from getting scratched and tore up. The vinyl is also very heavy duty, but won't protect it from cuts or anything like that if you were to put stuff on top of the trifold bed cover. Okay, so let's get this thing unpacked. I left it in the bag and pulled it out of the box and let's toss that aside. It's time to unwrap the hardware. We have a long, what looks like um, kind of that foam insulation with a double stick tape on the back that you would use on a door to your house or something. This is gonna be used on the bed closest to the cab because sometimes there is a gap there above the deck rail. In my particular truck, I had to use it, and I have had no leaks from this trifold cover. So, when you unravel it, there's not many parts. Everything is already pre-assembled. You have a little, what looks to be a two millimeter Allen wrench, and some aluminum, uh, looks like extruded aluminum hardware, and that slides into the deck rail. And those, pieces of extruded aluminum that go in the deck rail will tighten down with that Allen wrench. And then when you put the trifold on, that is what the clamps tighten down with to make a tight seal on the bed of the truck. After you get all the hardware out and get it all organized, then basically you need to start unpacking the trifold. So there's my extruded aluminum little pieces, my Allen wrench, my foam seal with the double stick tape, and my directions. So I'm all set to put this thing on. What I'm doing right here is I'm taking the extruded aluminum pieces and I'm going to slide them into the deck rail and position them. A couple of them will go closest to the cab and some others will go at the other end and you kind of, you just space them evenly. Once you get the trifold on top of the bed, you will notice where, they get a, where they're going to need to go and be tightened down. unpack and get it out of this bag this lovely bag which I will save in case I decide to sell this trifold on eBay or something um, anyways it is a uh, like I said very nice pre-assembled trifold bed cover Now the directions state, you go ahead and just 
put the trifold up on the bed and position it. Make sure it's even. You can check, you know, look down each side of the bed to make sure it's in the right place and not crooked. Because that would really bother some people. Once you get it up there where you want it, I had to look to see where this foam tape was going to go, this foam seal. I went ahead and measured it um, against the, uh, the trifold before I stuck it down on the bed to make sure I had the right length so it wouldn't let any water into there. After I got the seal on there, I went ahead and put the trifold back on there and made sure it was even on both sides. Because, God forbid, I got this thing crooked on there, it would drive me crazy. The next step is to tighten down the extruded aluminum that you put in the deck rails, even with the clamps on the trifold at the front and the back. You also need to make sure the safety straps closest to the cab are attached as well. They were a little confusing, but after reading the directions about 10 times, I figured it out. Some of you might get it the first try. I did not. Anyways, once all that's tightened up, then you can just tighten down this trifold bed cover. After you get all those steps done, then you need to adjust the clamps that hook onto the extruded aluminum in your deck rails. Once you get this done, then you know that it will seal very tight and keep the water out if it rains really hard. After that, you're good to go. And there it is, all perfect and ready to go. Now to clamp and unclamp, you take this plastic lever, which can store up in the top of the trifold. You fold it down. And these are adjustable. If they don't fit right at first, you can adjust them. So this plastic lever then goes under the extruded aluminum and you just pull the lever down and it tightens up. You will see it's very self-explanatory and it adjusts like a quick release lever on a bicycle wheel. Here I'm showing you how to undo both clamps you can store them up above if you like. And I'm trying to do this with one hand, so let's just see how it goes. And then you fold it over. It has these straps with the trifold that will connect and clip to the top. So if you're driving down the road with it open and maybe something large in the back, it doesn't fly off. Not that it would anyways, but you don't want it flapping around and making a bunch of noise. And then to close it up, you just unfold it. You come around and pull each of these clamps down, put it under the extruded, put it under the extruded aluminum that is in your deck rails, and then pull down on the lever, and it's tight. It doesn't feel like it's super tight, but it has been more than enough to seal out all the water. I have had no leaks, so it works really great. Well, there you have it. 
It seals really nice, keeps out the water. It doesn't feel like much because it's just vinyl, but it works great. Now, if you're putting expensive tools or anything like that in the back of your truck, you might want something like a hard trifold, or you could make this one a little more protective of your stuff in the back. Under the vinyl, you could zip tie like some 3 8 uh, foam core or foam board. And then, and then if somebody stuck a knife into the trifold to try to get your tools, they would stick it directly into the foam core and it wouldn't move that much. They'd have to sit there and wrestle with it. They would have to struggle with it and they would probably give up. Again, this is not something to secure weapons, tools, anything like that, or expensive fishing poles. It is to hide things. It is also mainly to keep things dry and protected from the elements. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video on installing the trifold bed cover on the back of a truck. Anyways, it's great quality bed cover. It does its job at keeping the elements off of my stuff and keeping things kind of hidden like fishing poles and whatever. It's really low price. I mean, you can't beat this. It's, my truck's gonna get better gas mileage with it and I'm gonna keep stuff out of sight. So anyways, if y'all like it, I'll put a link under the description of this video and you can click on it, check it out if you want and just, just see what it's all about. But anyways, Tiger Auto did a good job. So I will see you next time. Remember, please subscribe and please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. See ya.